the format of the robot. Hello, please, I cannot name myself, but please call me Arctic Line. Let me tell you the security of this document. This document is top secret and is going to be whistled, but let me explain. It started in 1964, the Cold War was in full midst and the war in Vietnam was inflicting heat onto America. In 1945, the Second World War was in full midst. A special operation called, Irate Sunset, was to extract top Japanese scientist defectors out of Imperial Japan. All of these scientists worked in Unit 731, a secret specialized biological warfare facility working on means to attack the Americans with diseases. These scientists defected to America and started work on biological warfare with the CIA to make a new type of smallpox. This was tested on Japanese and German cows, when the cows were released in 1946, they then tested on citizens. Mutations occurred, people started to lose their lives. Back in the 60s the soldiers needed training and many soldiers came to fight in Vietnam, so the group of 731 came to make a simulated drug and game. This drug was to increase strength, but side effects were made and many suffered side effects such as mutations. The drug came to light on the streets, now more potent. It is now modernized as steroids. While the video game was made to simulate the tank game. This was developed in the 60s and came as a video game in the arcade era, came as the game, Battlezone. The first video games were merely military strategy simulators and then came as a video game later on. Now to get to the point. In the 80s, you would have played a game called, Sonic. Most of you know that if you use the sound test you can see things such as the music and a satanic message saying, Fun is infinite, Sega Enterprises, the devil. The music was designed to be in the game with lower frequency, kind of like the Lavender Town Syndrome myth, which is going to be referenced later. Now back with the subject, this song was very experimental by the unit and started to make subjects look at the image and hear the music. Of course, this was in the beta, and the beta was only given to the government as an experiment. Now I have to shed something, Unit 731 was working on early military simulations. After years, they were getting notoriety. So, it was decided that they would need a cover enterprise, Unit 731 was later labeled, Sega Enterprises. Sega, at first, were Japanese-American scientists working on simulations, drugs and stimulants. Of course, why don't I say this? Unit 731 is also people from many gaming industries. Every game you know now is actually a military test. I will explain, in the 60s again, the MK Ultra project was in full lapse. The MK Ultra project was affiliated with LSD and heroin, but another stimulant was music. The Lavender Town theme beta track and the Sonic Sound test track were all used in MK Ultra as a means for psychological warfare. When the CIA were whistleblowed, that's when they needed a more suitable operation. Sega or Unit 731 were working on a means of making simulations of military warfare in every pixel of every game made. This sounds very false, but the federal government needed more recruiting for recent wars such as the Yugoslavian wars in the 90s, so they made video games that were developed to motivate and train innocent people. Why do you think many people join up for the army or the marines? Because some of them either played video games or want to join. Unit 731 was able to turn innocent people into sleeper agents working for the United States. If you watched many films where a country attacks America, you would notice that civilians would be unknown to weapons, but somehow they can use them like soldiers. That's because they are brainwashed by the federal government to defend the states if an imminent attack has begun. Most of you would know about a game called, Polybius. However, this is actually a dead end. There was no such thing, this game was practically an unpopular Space Invaders, that got turned down and then got turned into the real game. Polybius was actually just some imaginative clone. The Polybius game clone is subliminal with texts and pixels of military training. Practically we are all robots, trained by the government. The files on the MK Ultra project weren't burned or destroyed, they were never made. It was so top secret that it was a verbal operation for years of high members of government and military only. 
I have whistleblowed these documents and now the government are tracking me down. I guess my work is done.